All right, now my next favorite part is, what is the weather? We got a couple good options. So, this one is sunny. And what happens when it is sunny? The sun is shining. It is bright. And you can feel it through the window, and it's usually pretty warm. Right? Warm and sunny. It makes me feel pretty happy. I like sunny. And this one is cloudy. So cloudy is when there are all these clouds in the sky and maybe it's dark outside, right? Even during the day, it could be a little bit dark. And then if you're sitting beside a window, maybe it doesn't feel as warm, right? And then this one I really like too is rain, rainy. That's when it's raining out. It is wet and all the grass gets a bunch of water to drink and all the flowers get the water that it needs to grow. And if you were to go outside, you would maybe have an umbrella or some boots. It is rainy. So what do you think today's like for you? Why don't you go outside to your window? Go to your window, not outside. Go to your window. Take a look. And what do you think? Is it warm by your window? Do you see a bunch of dark clouds or do you see the sun shining? Do you see if water's coming down? Hmm, that would be rainy. Well, for me, it is, I think, pretty sunny out. A little bit of clouds, but I think it is mostly a sunny day. Sunny, sunny, sunny. So I think for me, I'm going to fill one more space with sunny. Here we go. Fill that space in. And then, how many days have we had it be sunny? Ready? One. <gasps> Two, so I'm going to draw a number two. So let's look. We've had how many days of sunny? Whoops. One, two. How many days of cloudy? One. And how many days of rainy? I haven't had any days because I'm only doing the days where we take videos. So right now, there have been two days of sunny weather this April. Pretty cool. And it might be different where you are. Maybe it's cloudy or maybe it's rainy and that's okay because you can put that on your chart. Sound good? Awesome. All right. I thought we would do one of Amir's favorite songs and one of my favorite songs too because it is a nice sunny day again. And Jack, you can see, has joined us in the corner. You know, he, he'll probably take off once I start singing, but that's okay. Are you ready? We're going to do Shine. <gasps> are you ready for it? Are you ready, Amir? Here we go. We're gonna shine tonight, we're gonna shine. We're gonna shine tonight, all down the line. We're all dressed up tonight and we're feeling fine. When the sun goes down and the moon comes up, we're gonna shine. Bye, Jack. We're gonna clap and sing, let's clap and sing. We're gonna clap and sing and voices will ring We're all dressed up tonight and we're feeling fine When the sun goes down and the moon comes up We're gonna shine Woo! Here we go We're gonna run and play Let's go and play We're gonna run and play all through the day We're all dressed up tonight and we're feeling fine When the sun goes down and the moon comes up, we're gonna shine. We're gonna laugh and shout, let's make some friends. We're gonna laugh and shout until we go to bed. We're all dressed up tonight and we're feeling fine. When the sun goes down and the moon comes up, we're gonna shine. We're gonna shine tonight, we're gonna shine. We're gonna shine tonight all down the line We're all dressed up tonight and we're feeling fine When the sun goes down and the moon comes up We're gonna shine Oh, that is an exciting song. Good job, guys. I hope you were singing and clapping and stomping those feet. Pretty fun. Amir, that one's out for you. I hope you're liking it. All right, friends. We... Have a fun activity. I thought we could do. I was thinking, what do we all have in our house? 
and I thought we could give it a try. So, what is this? We use it for eating, we use it for cereal, and for yogurt, and for all sorts of things. It is a spoon, and I thought there could be a cool activity we could do with a spoon that will help us with our fine motor and our gross motor moving around, you know, getting a little excitement, a little exercise in. So, first of all, I don't just have one type of spoon at home. I have a whole bunch. I also have this spoon. Oh my gosh. Are these the same or are they different? Well, they're the same in a lot of ways because they're both spoons. They're the same sort of shape. But what's different? Hmm. First, remember how we do same? Same as this. Ready? Same. Same. And do you remember different? Different is different. Different. So are these, we know the same is that they're the same shape and they're both made of metal, but what is different? Hmm. Are they the same size? No, these are different sizes. So which one is big and which one is small? Take a look. Which one's the big one? I know you know. Which one's the big one? It's this one. Point to it. It's this one. Look how much bigger it is. It is big. And this one's so small. See, they can go right into each other. And then I have another. Let's see if we can see the difference in this one. Look at this. These are different spoons too. They're still both spoons, so that's the same. Same. But what is different? What's different? Hmm. Let's take a look. Do they look like the same color? Hmm. Or is the color the same? What color is this one? Hard to tell, but I would say maybe b. B. Black. It is maybe black. And then what color is this one? I don't know. This one's maybe gray. Gray, shiny, silver metal. And want to see one more difference? Look at this. I can see you through this spoon because it has holes in it. And this one, no holes. So those are the different parts. Different. All right. And I thought we could do a fun game with spoons. So if you can maybe get a spoon from someone in your life, I'm thinking a big spoon like this, so a big soup spoon, or this is called a slotted spoon. But if you have access to a big spoon, we could do this activity together. Even if you only have a small spoon, that could be tricky too, right? So feel free to pause it if you need to get a spoon or we'll just watch Carly do the activity and maybe you can do it later. Here we go. So I also have an adult in my life who's getting me, I don't know what I do with it. Oh, Jack jumped on it. An old piece of paper. It could be a flyer, it could be for magazine, it could be a used up piece of paper you don't need anymore. And guess what we're gonna do? We are going to scrunch it. Can you hear? We're gonna scrunch it all up. We're gonna hear it again, ready? Oh, we're gonna scrunch it into a ball. Look at that. And then what can we do with this ball? Well, I thought we could put it in the spoon. Cause I don't know about you, but I was doing some egg races. So you put it in the spoon. And then, what can we do? Do you think you can hold it in there without it falling out? Wow! Oh, no! And maybe you can see if you can walk across the room holding the spoon and seeing if the paper falls out. Oh my gosh, it just fell out for me! It's a tricky thing! Seeing how many times you can cross without it. Doing it. Ready? Here, Carly, we'll do it just right here. We'll go, go, ah, one time across the screen. Ready? Here, let's count to five. Let's see if I can do it five times. Two, two times. Oh my gosh, two times across the screen. Oh, this is so tricky. Ready? Here we go. Three, three times. Oh, we made three times across the screen. So we need five. So we have two times left. Ready? We're going to hold up my fingers and we'll see. Oh, can we get across the screen? Oh, that's four. So now we have one more time. Are you ready for it? Uh, oh, success! We have done it five times across the screen. Ready? One, two, three, four, five times across the screen.
So you know what else you can do if you're getting really good at that? We can Ooh, ah, try to see if we can throw it and catch it. That's a whoa, that's definitely a little trickier. Can you try that? Ready? Up in the air. Oh no! But luckily it's only a piece of paper, so it isn't gonna hurt anything if it falls, right? And we can do this standing up, we can do this sitting down, we can do this however you like, but oh! And you know what? If that's a little tricky, because that is a little tricky, if it's a piece of garbage paper that your parents say is cool, we can rip the paper! Are you ready? Not into a million pieces, but into a few pieces, so that maybe, look at this, then the ball is smaller, and it's a little easier to have in there. Whoa! Do you think you can give that a try? Whoa! And that's good for our fine motor skills! Oh, perfect. Look at that. So exciting. And that's a game you can play just with spoons and a piece of paper. And maybe if you have a sibling who wants to play with you, another fun thing you could try to do is, can you put it onto their spoon? Oh my gosh. And they can try to put it onto your spoon. Oh my goodness. All the fun things we can do with stuff at home, eh? That is pretty, pretty good. Here we go. I'm going to pause it. All right. You guys have been working so hard, and I think you've been so nice to your families, and you had a really great break. So I think we're going to do one more song, right? I think that sounds pretty good. We're going to do one more song. Or at least just bring this over here, and then... And then I will be on my way. But guess what? Uh, I'm also sending fun things to your parents in the email to do too. In case you want to do some more stuff later. Sound good? Alright. I'm making a choice on this one. Because this is one we do in the school sometimes. We don't do all the time. And I think it's nice. Alright, so let's do I'd Like to Visit the Moon. Does that sound fun? Let's give it a try. Well, I'd like to visit Visit the moon on a rocket ship high in the air. Yes, I'd like to visit the moon, but I don't think I'd like to live there. Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above, I would miss all the places and people I love. So although I might like it for one afternoon, oh, I don't want to live on the moon. I'd like to travel under the sea Like to meet all the fish everywhere Yes, I'd travel under the sea But I don't think I'd like to live there I might stay for a day there if I had my wish But there's not much to do when your friends are all fish And oysters and clams aren't my real family Oh, I don't want to live in the sea I'd like to visit the jungle, hear the lions roar Go back in time and meet a dinosaur There are so many strange places I'd like to be But none of them permanently So if I should visit the moon Well, I'll dance on a moonbeam And then I will make a wish on a star And I'll wish I was home once again Though I'd like to look down at the earth from above I would miss all the places and people I love So although I might go, I'll be coming home soon No, I don't want to live on the moon No, I don't want to live on the moon Oh, I like that one! And I don't want to go to the moon At least right now I'm here with my family And that's pretty great, right? We don't need to go to the moon. That's for another day. Anyway, I am so happy to see you guys again. And I will talk to you tomorrow in my next video. So I will say <gasps> bye, Ryan. Bye, Leandro. Bye, Zaid. Bye, Amir. Bye, Emma. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So remember, we're going to listen to our family. And we're going to have our safe hands. And we're gonna, you know, stay in the green zone. Right, guys? As much as we can. Alright, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.